IP are two letters that cause a lot of confusion, but on the difficulty scale, IP is not that hard. So let's take a couple of minutes to shine a light on this mysterious subject. Welcome to IPY. When journalists want to expose the truth, they rely on the five W's, who, what, where, when, and why. So let's take a look at the five W's of intellectual property. Why? Why does everybody need to know about IP? What's wrong with just ignoring it? IP gives you what every business needs. Options. Options to grow, such as licensing your IP to expand into adjacent markets. Or options to get out of difficult situations, like fighting back with your own patent when a competitor sues you for infringement. And investment options, because registered IP makes you a more attractive investment and acquisition target. Actually, there's about 10 different ways that your IP can help your business, and that's why it's worth your time and energy. But what is intellectual property anyway? Think of IP as your ideas, your information, and your data. Every business has IP, and IP tools like patents and trademarks can help IP support a business strategy. But if every business has IP, where's yours? Often you'll have IP in your products or services, your software code, your AI algorithms, and your proprietary data. But in your operations, you may also have unique approaches such as training models, managing code, and those could be valuable IP too. We're going to talk about a tool called an IP strategy roadmap that helps you find your most valuable IP. But IP law is complicated, so who should be in charge? Like, we need an expert, right? Actually, IP is a business tool, not a legal tool, and you know your business better than anyone else. Experts can help with technical steps, like preparing patents and trademarks, but you need to stay in the driver's seat and call the shots, because your IP is more valuable and useful when it aligns with your business. So when is the right time to think about your IP? Actually, right now. Your IP is not very patient. For example, if you're not first to file for a patent or a trademark, there's no second place. And if you don't look for IP problems before they find you, the advantage is lost. Steve Jobs once described a new iPhone feature at a public launch event, but Apple hadn't filed their patent yet, and that cost them the chance to protect that IP. But what if that happened to you and your best idea? If you wait, it'll be too late. So guess what? You now have the five W's of intellectual property. You are the best one to decide how IP should support your business. Your IP is your ideas, your information, and your data. IP is in your products, your services, and throughout your business. But the time is now. There's no second place when it comes to your IP. Because IP provides you with options that improve your odds for success. Investing your time and energy now into your intellectual property will pay dividends. You'll never regret making informed decisions about what's right for your business. And someday, it could make all the difference. In the next video, we'll discover why every business needs an IP strategy roadmap. And don't forget to check out the IPY webpage for more.